Latvia topples Soviet era obelisk amid blackash against Russia. A concrete obelisk topped by Soviet star that was the centerpiece of a monument to the Red Army's victory over Nazi Germany was taken down in Latvia capital on Thursday. The latest in the series of Soviet monuments brought down after Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Heavy machinery was spotted behind a green privacy fence at the foot of the nearly 80 meters obelisk. Shortly before it was fell, the column, which had stood like a high rise in central Riga, crashed into a nearby pond, causing a huge splash at Victory Park. A Latvian media outlet broadcast the event live. As onlookers, some with Latvian flags wrapped around their shoulders, cheered and applauded. The obelisk, made up of five spires with three Soviet stars at the top, stood between two groups of statues: a band of three Red Army soldiers and a woman representing the motherland with her arm held high. The monument was built in 1985, while Latvia was still part of the Soviet Union. It has been the subject of controversy since Latvia regained independence in 1991. And eventually became a NATO and European Union member. On Twitter, Latvia Foreign Minister said, "By taking down the monument, Latvia was closing another painful page of history and looking for a better future." The country shared a 214 kilometers border with Russia, and has a large ethnic Russian population. On Russia's annual Victory Day. Which commemorates the Soviet victory over Germany in the Second World War. People gather in the front of Riga Monument to lay flowers. Latvia Parliament voted to approve the demolition of the Victory Park monument in May, and Riga City Council follows suit. Work to clear away the monument started this week with the removal of statue. The area was then cordoned off, and authorities issue a flight ban or drones. Police temporarily closed traffic near the park on Thursday, citing security reasons. Russia invasions of Ukraine in late February has prompted authorities in several Eastern European countries to remove symbol from their communist eras. The government in Poland, another country once part of Soviet Empire, said on Thursday that a meritorious site in neighboring Belarus, containing the grave of Polish soldiers who died during the Second World War. Was been level to the ground by the Belarusian authorities. Lukas Justina, a foreign ministry spokesperson, said on Twitter that the cemetery in the village of Sokonti, where Poland's residents battle Soviet forces, is being devastated by the Soviet of Mig's regime. The development comes a day after Poland said it was demolishing a monument to Soviet Red Army soldiers in Poland. One of dozens that have been marked for destruction. Belarus has been a key ally to Moscow, while Poland, which lies on Ukraine's western border, has been supportive of Ukraine. Last week, Estonia removed a Soviet Second World War monument from near a city on the Russian border as part of a wider effort to dismantle Soviet-era symbol. The tank replica was sent to a war museum north of Tallinn. In 2007, the relocation of a Second World War monument of a Red Army soldiers in Estonia's capital Tallinn sparked days of rioting. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.